To progress monitor your students, you will grab a Chromebook and go to Google Chrome, and the website is mclass dot amplify dot com slash assessment okay and when you go there it might have you log in for the first time and then you should be able to see your class list um i've got all these here i'm just going to go to the demo and click sync once that syncs i'm going to then click Dibbles next, and I'll see my list of students. And then I will click the student that I want to progress monitor. From here, I want to click progress monitoring. I'm not going to be clicking benchmark. Okay, so progress monitoring. And if they have been progress monitored before, we will see their scores in a list here. But since this student hasn't been done before, there is nothing there. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu to select the measure. These measures at the top, the FSF, PSF, NWF, those are in the lower grades. So for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grades, you're only going to need to really worry about the DORF, the oral reading fluency. And then the days is what the students will do on the Chromebooks like we did at the beginning of the year. So we'll just click DORF, and then I'm going to click Assess. It's then going to bring up the grade level and the form. Now, if I have a student that is reading well below the grade level. It might suggest a lower grade to assess on, and that is okay. Um, they recommend, though, that you at least have one grade level passage that you progress monitor them on each month. So you could do two, um, two weeks, do a lower grade level at their level, just to see how they're if they're getting better on that. And then at least once a month, you should be doing an on level, grade level, whatever your grade is, um, to check and see their progress. If I have assessed before, it will have a check mark on the form that I used last time. So you'll want to make sure you just go to the next form. Since I haven't done one on this student, I'll just do form one and click OK. Then this just kind of gives the information about it. So I can just click proceed. And then this is what I say to the student. I would like you to read a story to me. Please do your best reading. If you do not know a word, I will read the word for you. Keep reading until I say stop. Be ready to tell me all about the story when you finish. And then you put the passage in front of them. And then you say, put your finger under the first word. And then you can click begin. Now the timer has not started yet. I can see that it's still at zero. I, it does not start until I click the first word that they read. If they read the title, don't start the timer yet. So I can see that this first word is we. So I wait till they read the word we. And when they do, I click we. Um, if they had the first word wrong, I would have clicked the red one. Then I'll just follow along. If they get a word incorrect, I click it and it will mark it wrong. If they read it wrong, but then they correct themselves, I can click it again and it will turn green and show SC for self-correct. Um, if they are reading and they skip a line, I can click the X and yes, every word in that line will be counted as an error. Um, if they skip it, but then they realize they skipped it and go back, you can just click it again and it'll come off. Um, if you're accidentally clicking something and you didn't mean to, just click it twice to get it to go back to white. Up here in the right corner, I can see my timer counting up to a minute and my diamonds that are counting to three seconds. As they're reading, if they get to a word that is hard for them, we give them three seconds to try it and then we mark it wrong or tell them the word. See how my screen turned yellow? That was because it was almost a minute. And so the last five seconds, it turns yellow so that I know that it's going to, when to tell them to stop. So whatever the last word was that they read, I click and hold and it will give me the bracket. Okay, I can move that if I click the wrong one. I just click and hold the one that I meant to do. And then I click done. And now it's going to have them do a retell. So I'll click proceed and I say, now tell me as much as you can about the story you just read. And I click begin. And then I say ready begin and click start. Now as they're telling me what they read, they get a point, I just click. They get a point for every word or th that they say that has to do with the story. So I like to click 
in the same box for the same detail. So as they're telling me the first detail, I'm clicking here. When they go to the next detail or event, I go to this one and then this one. And you'll see why in a minute, because when we have to rate the quality of their retail, I need to know how many details they said. So that helps me keep track of how many details they've given me. Um, if they say anything that was not in the story, like maybe they're making a connection or saying something that it reminds them of, then I cannot count those points. Um, I can also go backwards to minus if I accidentally gave them points that I didn't mean to. And then down at the bottom, um, you see this three second pause. Um, I click that and I can say, can you tell me anything more about the story? If they don't, then I can click the five second pause or when the timer is done, I can click done. And then it will have me rate the quality of their response. So this is where I need to know how many details because if it was two or fewer, they only get a one. If it was three or more, I can give them a two. But if it was three or, or more in a meaningful sequence, they can get a three. And then a four would be that as well as the main idea if they capture the main idea. So we'll just say they got a three and then I click done and now I can see their their scores all right there for me. Um, if I want to go back later and review, I can click this review and it will show me exactly what mistakes they made. If I accidentally test a student under the wrong name, um, you can click this probe not valid and it will clear that score off. But I'm going to keep this one, so I'm just going to push valid as an exit. And then when I click this back PM, that takes me back to See, now I see their score in the list, and then I can go back to the student. Here's where I was, and then I can go back to the class list to go to my next student. So that's all you need to do.